to this video regarding HP DexJet 3700 series printer. I am going to show you how to use this printer with your Windows 10 computer using the USB cable. So this is a USB setup. So this is the USB cable you need to wire and the one end goes to the printers and other end will go to your computer. So you simply have to place it at the back side and make sure it is connected to the computer and also switch on the printer and once our printer is on we simply go to our desktop here so this is a windows 10 computer and i have downloaded the hp smart app from microsoft store and you can download it from there now open the hp smart app here we can see click on that now click on the add printer and it will search for the available printers here now click on the set up a new printer on the next page we get three options wireless ethernet and usb so click to click on the usb and click on the continue button and click on the connect printer on the next screen you will see dexjet 3700 series click on continue and once you click on that it will be connected automatically and click on continue again so that we finish this setup just follow all the steps so click on continue if you want you can create an HP account or you can just skip the account warranty and you can skip the warranty and account activation so here it says congratulations and as it is connected so if you want you can print now or click on note now so that we can finish the setup and once it is done your printer should show up here so we are just waiting for it now here we can see the estimated level of ink also it says paper tray problem that means we need to install the paper as there is no paper here and I'll show you how to do the scanning for, for example to do the scan simply click on the scan and if it asks you to join the HP account then you have to sign in or create a new account and the, then you will be able to do the scanning for example here so I'm going to sign in with my account and click on the get started so here we see the scan option now you can also go back once you have signed in and if you again click on the scan button it will straightway take you to the scanning and here we can select the document the letter size the output as a color and you can also cho choose the DPI now I'm going to place it here facing upward in the scanner which is on the top and click on the scan button and it will take the page for the scanning itself and in the same way you can select any document and do the printing this way we can use this printer using the USB cable and you don't need to connect with any Wi-Fi direct or any Wi-Fi network of home your office the only thing is the USB cable is almost never supplied with the printer you have to buy it separately thanks for watching